Okay, this video is going to show you how to set up WAPX and open track for Flight Simulator 2020 VR. Right now I have WAPX already running right there and this way here on the right is the Mixed Reality Portal and the left is the Microsoft Flight Simulator. You're going to want the aspect ratio to be somewhat like this. If you have it too wide, you're not going to see the full picture. So it's about a rectangular shape like this and you click ready to fly right there I'm going to pause this bring up the menu ok so let's so show you the settings I'm using right now I just reset everything to default so you can see how I set it up the first time this should be, oops, right now you will take the headset, you'll see the edges. You don't want that. I'm gonna change that to not home feeder. Let's see your legs to full VR mode. Okay. Okay. Expand the settings here. Pixel one to one. Zoom right here. Okay. You can adjust the zoom. You make it way too big. You see only a small portion of your screen. You make it way too small. You can see everything. So right now I'm gonna set it to about 0.5 to for setting the rest of the settings. Background, you're going to want to use ambient. And then, I like to increase the brightness a little bit so you match the sky. Um, that's it for this part of the settings. You can collapse that. Um, this, I don't know what it does. Leave it be. So, head tracking sensitivity. This will move your mouse. So, you don't want that. Uh, set all the way to zero. Okay, next. Image settings. Normal. I don't really need this. Gamma. Hardness. Set it however you want. Um, sharpness. This helps you see the instrument a little bit better. You can see down there that it gets a little bit if it's at zero. So about one is what I use. Again, image zoom, same thing. Now that we've set the ambient, I'm going to set this back to one. Around somewhere there. Okay. Leave everything else off. Tracking protection on. Okay. Head tracking on. Nothing need to change here. Okay. Here you don't really need any hand controller. You don't need a hand controller for this. Um, so I'm gonna disable the yeah, controller mode off. Okay. Input setting, I'm going to try to turn off as many things as possible. You don't need any of these. And you don't need these. Okay. I'm going to turn this off just in case you screw up any of my controls. Okay. You don't need to change anything there, and that's it. You can click OK and save. Alright, now we're in the cockpit. I'm going to launch Open Track. Okay. Open Track, I want to use Steam VR right there. And output 
the track 2.0 enhance filter ammo I don't think I need to change any options I recommend setting the shortcut to center with space so if you move the headset somewhere here and plus space your center head like that okay mapping you don't need to change anything here 180 um, 90, 90 should be fine here you want to change from 30 to 10 for all X, Y and Z that's going to give you more head movement inside the cockpit okay. and now you are ready to stop tracking now as you can see my headset is tracking and I can should be able to move in and out the cockpit okay, okay. you can see the zoom position movement is working I can get us out the plane look behind me can move to the next seat um, You can still use your mouse There you go um, You can yep, use your mouse and joystick as usual Now everything is working, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the headset 